All right, late season October, early November, northern Minnesota, as up north as it gets here on Lake Mille Lacs, and there's one thing for sure that's gonna go on this time of year. I'm gonna be power fishing. All year long, I mess with the spin and pull. I have a great time doing it out here. But this time of year, these fish are eating up, they're eating big forage, and one thing for sure that they're looking for is bait fish. You got bait fish schooling up for numerous different reasons. Getting up in big schools to stay together for the, the tough winter. You also got things like tulipy up here that are just getting ready to spawn, actually. They're not too far away from that, and the big smallmouth bass know that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out there and I'm just gonna get on my engine, I'm gonna idle around, and I'm gonna use my Lorances. I'm hitting contours, but I'm not in your traditional stuff right now because I'm looking for bait. I'm not around the rocks and the stuff just yet. First, I'm off in the areas that I think the bait are gonna be in. And then from there, I'm gonna look for the nearest smallmouth holding water that I can. All right, I'm just kinda out here, out on really nothing. Kinda out in the sand getting near the mud, places where I think this bait fish is coming from, and just kind of idling around. I'm, I'm looking for some bait. It shouldn't take too long to find. Hit a couple little areas that, you know, I think would they would be there. And in this case, it's gonna be around deeper water. I'm just gonna kind of idle around and see what I can find. And uh, if I can find some bait, then I know that I will uh, should be able to find some smallmouth bass in the jet right here, right here, right here, right here. You got a bait ball right here. If I swing this around, that's awesome. That's a that's a nice size bait ball. Let's see if I can swing that around and find them underneath the boat. Oh, there it is, right here. A bunch of bait. All right, you can see like there are some fish around here, but at the same time, it's important to remember that it's almost November 1st. Uh, these fish, it's 40 something degree water. These fish aren't gonna be that active. They're gonna be very glued to the bottom. Sure, you're gonna see some, you know, on down scan, sitting between rocks and definitely on the active target. But at the same time, a lot more of them, you're just not gonna see because of the time of year. But again, if you look here at the graph, I mean, this, this is smallmouth habitat. I got ditches running through. I got bigger rocks. It doesn't, you know, you got different sized rocks. There's a lot going here. This looks like an ideal spot for there to be a school. I'm going to save a waypoint here and we're going to get to it. As soon as I get up here and I find those areas on the structure scan, I'm going to get out, I'm going to drop the active target, I'm just going to see. I'm going to move a lot of water. Right now I'm throwing a Biospawn Exo Swimmer on a 3 8 ounce uh, Outcast Tackle Goldeneye. I'm fishing it real slow, fishing it across the bottom. These fish are already keyed in on bait fish. I'm throwing a 4 inch, I'm giving them something bigger and I'm gonna move through the area pretty good. If I get in bites and I'm seeing a lot of fish, a lot of action, then I'll start slowing down and start seeing, you know, what's there for quality and see how many bites I can get. I got him. Oh, that was sweet. I watched that go down. That's a small mouth? Oh, that's a big small one too. Oh, come here. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <Got her. laughs> that's so awesome. Presentation is really a simple one. I'm just throwing a four inch swim bait, three a zones, four out, Ocast Tackle Golden Eye. I mean, this swim bait head was meant to be swam in the rocks and be as snake free as it can possibly be. Super sharp hook, big small mouth like that. Know where to be and when to be there. And if you understand the migration of the bass and how they're going to go about setting up to get ready for winter, then at the same time, you can find different areas to intercept them. I have, it's, it's almost November 1st. The lake's been open since May or been fishable since May uh, for smallmouth. And I've never made it, I've never caught a bass there all year. Let's do that again. You know, I, I feel like the rod and reel that I'm using right now is pretty critical for this presentation. 
Um, I don't want to feel the fish too early. I really don't. I want to use a real moderate rod. And in this case, I'm using the G Loomis IMX Pro and it's the 892 jig worm rod. It's just perfect for this action. You know, I can make big long casts at seven foot five inches. But yeah, I'm throwing a six speed Bantam. I love the Bantam. It's got an MGL spool, which allows me to throw, I mean, the bait's not overly heavy. Sometimes I'll throw a quarter ounce gold eye, other times a, a half. But in this case, I'm throwing a three A's. Um, but that MGL spool allows me to make a super long cast. And I do want just a little bit of drag when, when, I, when they load up. I don't want to pull it away from them, you know, and, and so many of them will just be hooked. Got that one. Wow. Oh, big smallmouth. Big smallmouth. What is that? Dude, he wanted it. Oh, I got it. Look at how fat that one is. That's a true good one right there. Oh, okay, cast tackle gold and I. They're looking for minnows this time of year. They're feeding up. That's a beauty. I gotta weigh that one quick. Just like that, late season, late fall, early winter time, deer hunting season. Great time to be out on the water looking for big smallies.